Hello, my name's Kate Jones. I'm one of the respiratory nurses here at Morriston Hospital. This video will show you how to set up an A40 ventilator in preparation for initiating a patient with type 2 respiratory failure on NIV therapy. You will also be shown how to select and appropriately assemble the circuits and you will also be shown how to correctly fit a patient for a mask. If you're about to use an A40 ventilator machine, you should have already attended a training session and you should be using it in conjunction with the Morriston Hospital Acute NIV guidelines, which are available on COIN. So this is the A40 ventilator. Ensure it's connected to a power supply and then switch on the power button. Unlock by pressing the alarm button top right and the bottom arrows and hold simultaneously for three seconds until it beeps. Scroll down to Options and using the Navigate arrows, press Select. Menu access will be highlighted. Press Modify and then Change to Full and then press OK. Detailed view is now highlighted. Press Modify, Change to On and then press OK and then press Finish. It's important to note that to make changes you need to be in full access and for monitoring you need the detailed view on. The machine is now unlocked and will remain unlocked until the access is modified back to limited. Now you can scroll up to settings and alarms and press select. The machine delivers a number of modes. We need spontaneous timed, which shows as ST. Trigger type is auto track. AVAPS is off. The IPAP should be 15 centimeters of water. The EPAP should be 4 cm of water. The breath rate should be 12. Inspiratory time should be 1.2 seconds. Rise time lock off. Rise time 3. Ramp length off. The heated tube hum humidification unavailable. System 1 humidification off. Humidifier 0. Tubing type lock off, tubing type 22 millimeters, system one resistance lock off, system one resistance zero, circuit disconnect 60 seconds, apnea alarm off, low minute ventilation alarm off, high respiratory rate alarm off. Then press finish and then activate the ST mode, we press yes. And then we press exit and then the machine is set up and ready to deliver therapy. Next you need to choose the correct circuit for your patient. Patients with type 2 respiratory failure need an oxygen saturation target range of 88 to 92 percent. If your patient doesn't require oxygen this is the circuit we would use. It consists of a bacterial filter which always goes next to the machine, 22 millimeter tubing, and a ventilated mask. If your patient does require oxygen and trained into the circuit, then this is the one that we would use. It consists of a bacterial filter, again, that goes next to the machine, a pressure valve, an oxygen in training port, 22 millimeter tubing, and the ventilated mask. You would also need to attach the green tubing to the nozzle on the oxygen in training port and to your oxygen supply. There are photos of both of these circuits attached to the NIV acute guideline which is available on COIN. So now we're going to do mask fitting and the volunteer today is Karen Whitehouse who's one of the other respiratory nurses here at Morriston. This is the mask we use. It's a simplest mask and it comes in small, medium and large and it's well tolerated by, by patients as it's a very comfortable, flexible mask. Each mask comes with a uh, measuring tool inside that you just break off from the cardboard and this is how you use it. Okay, it's got a round bit here which you place over the eye and then you can see what size Karen is a small, it corresponds with the groove here in the chin and that's where the mask should fit. Okay. So this is the, the simplest mask 
As you can see, it's got ventilation holes here, and that means that um, Karen's exhaled air will pass through here and leave the circuit. It's got a panel that fits between the eyes, and it's very important that this um, is, is uh, central, because if it encroaches on the patient's view, then they will pull at their mask. Um, and the most important thing is the patient's comfortable and compliant with therapy. Okay, so if you take the straps forward, as you can see, it's nice and flexible. Um, and this part of the mask should fit in the groove of Karen's chin. Okay, so you get the patient to purse their lips. And you place it gently and just tip it upwards. And then if you can get the patient to hold the mask, all well and good. If not, get another member of staff. Okay, then you just put the little clips into the front of the mask. Okay, you can let go now, Karen. There we go. Just try and make sure it's central. And is it comfortable? Okay, so we can start therapy. It's very important that you reassure patients at all times and explain to them that all this machine is doing is giving them a bigger breath and the best thing they can do is to relax and allow themselves to experience the bigger breath. We tell them it can't do them any harm and it's just going to help them get rid of the carbon dioxide which is building up in their system and making them unwell. As you can see, Karen is nicely relaxed, her, her shoulders are down and there's good chest expansion. So now your patient is receiving therapy, we can use the machine to help monitor them more effectively. When setting up the machine, we enabled the detailed view, so the screen should look like this. If not, go back to options and modify it to a detailed view as previously shown. This green bar shows the pressure being delivered. The IPAP is the uh, blue line and it settles back to the EPAP here. This area shows the exhaled tidal volume and you can see it's shown in mils and we are achieving around 280 to 360 mils. This area shows the mask leak and um, the machine tolerates a leak of up to 60 litres per minute so this shows that the mask is a very good fit. If the leak goes above 60 you would need to adjust the mask. This area here shows the breaths per minute, and we can see that's nice at 13 breaths a minute. Typically, when a patient is acutely unwell and starting treatment, the respiratory rate will be high and tidal volumes low. Ideally, as the patient settles, their respiratory rate will reduce to within normal range and the tidal volumes will increase. We hope you have found this video helpful. If you need any additional information or advice, please ring the respiratory team office on extension 33286. Thank you for watching.